Well, it goes through our, licking. There's a licking. I know it does, but you didn't mention that. Yeah, but our, that's why I say he's meeting with. He's the, the Lincoln County two, connection. The two to to the tied together, you know, so. <laughs> You had a, what was that called? A, out here, the garden. Rain garden. Yeah. Oh, we talked about that, the rain uh, garden. Yeah, that never went over to yeah. the melody. Works great as maintained. Yeah. Who's going to do that? You know? <laughs> All right, we're on. We're on. You just put something on, man. Okay, so <laughs> we are being taped at the moment, so we can call this meeting to order. And um, roll call, Teresa. Oh, Carol. Can you get a chance? Sure. Carol Vandy here. Chip Dutcher here. Sharon Hendren. Not here. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go on to action on minutes. And I've looked them over and I, I agree with them. I so. didn't have any changes. And so I will no. uh, make a motion to approve the minutes. And I'll second it. And we're both in favor. So aye. Aye. <laughs> And then we have a visitor today that was all ready to come last week, I guess it was. Yes. Yeah, so we're really sorry. <laughs> this is Carrie. Okay. This is Carrie McKee, and she's from the uh, Lincoln County Health Department. And we'll just turn it over to you, Carrie. Okay. Um, and feel free to jump in at any time. Obviously, I guess I'll come. I'll share a little bit about me and what I do, so everyone kind of has an idea. And then what I was hoping to partner with Johnstown on. Um, I coordinate the Creating Healthy Communities grant at the Health Department. It's a grant that we receive from ODH that funnels from CDC. Um, and every year we get different strategies to work on to improve active living opportunities and access to fresh, affordable foods, healthy foods. Um, and the goal uh, or the vision of our grant is to make the healthy choice the easy choice. Because um, we know if things are easier, people are more likely to do them. And if healthy choices are easier, you know, you're more likely to make the choice then. And if it's difficult, like, you know, if you're gonna start going to the gym and you pick a gym that is like way out of your, you know, route home from work or something, you're less likely to go. So kind of thinking along those lines. So we try to do things that make it easier for people to get out and walk or bike, um, whether that's for recreation or to get to a grocery store, um, giving people access to healthy foods where they live, um, to lower chronic disease um, and aid in prevention there. So I do a lot of different things. We get to pick a lot of different strategies. Um, one of the things that I've been working on with active living is um, active transportation and bike infrastructure um, and pedestrian infrastructure. So all those things kind of are active transportation. Um, but I've worked on the active transportation plan for Newark and Heath last year with LCATS. And then I know they brought that to Jonestown, is that earlier this year or late last year? Yeah, right. it started in the winter of last year and we yeah. adopted it earlier this year. Yeah, and I had wanted to be involved in that, but I was doing COVID response work, so <laughs> could not get away from that. Um, but I read through the report and it looked great. Um, and I saw an opportunity to um, come in and help with the bike infrastructure portion of that. Um, so basically just seeing that people in Johnstown like to bike um, I imagine there's a mix of recreation riders um, and maybe some people who would like to get around a little bit more by bike to just get to places in town. Mm -hmm. um, so using both bike trails and possibly some on street facilities at some point. And then I met with Bailey. We talked about um, bike racks. We talked about maybe some safer crossings. We talked about the business district where you all are wanting to bring um, people in on bike potentially. Um, so fortunately, CHC had some funds, so we were able to provide 5,000 towards some bike infrastructure here. Um, so I'm interested to hear how that's going. And then um, additionally, I had mentioned something to Bailey about bike-friendly businesses, um, and I can share more on that if you all are interested. Um, I don't wanna take too much of the time, um, but I brought a little bit of information and then I can always email you some links and stuff that you all can disperse and share and look at we can look at me what that would look like essentially yeah, you can great. create your own program with your own requirements um rather than doing like a national program which i think would be much more fitting for mm -hmm. the village of charlestown okay. well tell us a little bit about a bike friendly business just yeah so basically um 
Amelia had mentioned that you, it, and per the survey that people were wanting to be able to bike to kind of your business district area, and maybe you were going to try and place some bike racks near like the grocery stores and, and maybe some other areas. I'm not super familiar with that part of Johnson because I usually just come through here, um, but um, to make it so that people would want to bike there, businesses can be designated as bike friendly. Um, and that could look like they would provide water to cyclists coming in. They would have bike racks outside of their business um, provided by the city. Um, again, CHCHC has funds helping to fund those. Um, and then if they have restrooms available that they would open their restrooms to someone who's maybe cycling through. Um, and then they would have like a decal that you guys could design brand um, that would designate them as bike friendly. Miamisburg um, has done this and I can send you the link for their page, um, but they have like a page on their website. And I think their community development committee or um, economic development committee kind of coordinates that, but they have like a designated page on their website that lists all the bike friendly businesses in Miamisburg. And they all have like decals um, or window clings that go on their front door, their front window. Um, you can really kind of create like a campaign around it and then just continue to build, obviously, as you build more infrastructure, as you build more mobility and more businesses come in, um, things like that. So kind of just making that, I guess, definition or that presence of like yes we want people to bike here yes you're welcome to come into town there'll be places for you to put your bike safely and if you need you know whatever. so is there any um communities in licking county that are doing that currently such as granville because they have a lot of bikers i have not seen them does like i think they are pretty bike friendly but i don't think they have i don't think they've done anything like that i haven't heard of any other communities doing that um we talked about doing it with newark um, so potentially I would revisit that. I had presented to downtown Newark Association at one point about that. And, and but we ended up just doing the bike infrastructure install there. Um, didn't really get to that, but um, I think they, you know, the downtown square area would be a good place to do some bike friendly business stuff as well. Um, but yeah, you could be the first. Yeah, I think the challenge in Johnstown is just on 62 and 37 it's very challenging to be oh, able to sure. get bikers and you almost need to figure out a way to get them in kind of the back door mm -hmm. to be able to you know if they want if you want to have them visit main street businesses try to get them in off side streets and back streets and mm -hmm. other areas so i think that's that's a bigger challenge yeah do you guys see a lot of people bike in town now or is it mostly just on the trails um, we do get we do get large groups of cyclists in town i don't know if they come i don't think they probably come in on 62 i think they come in on the trail and take 37. yeah they don't right so they go distance. they take 50 the bike 50. Mm -hmm. um, from what there's a yeah, whole group road. from westerville there's a whole group from over that they way stop in town either to get breakfast or, or lunch. lunch um i we're putting a bike rack downtown mm -hmm. that i think that three bike racks three bike racks and so a bike fix it station wonderful <laughs> Uh, more the merrier, and a and a fix it thing. Right. Um, besides the one we have at the trailhead, mm -hmm. uh, but I think they know their way. I mean, they figure oh, they it do. out. I they think that's where route. it's not a matter. Maybe we need to pick their brain to be able to, if it's, they've got a good route that makes sense for everybody else. <laughs> get something like that on the website, saying, "Hey, come visit our businesses. This is the best route yeah. to take. Here's bike racks." Oh, I know a lot of them go down towards my <laughs> road. <laughs> Yeah, they went on your road. They, they, you know, they come down Sportsman Club and oftentimes go to the Nichols and head towards Concord. And yeah, come in that way. And they get on the trail. They can get on the trail there too. Yeah. Would there be any wayfinding to help people navigate? We can do that. Potentially, mm -hmm. I mean, that could be another idea. I mean, safety will definitely be a big factor, and you may not be able to get people coming in off of like or something but it also depends on how confident the writer is you know if you have a pelotonia writer they're probably well, they know what they're, they're like i'm confident i'm gonna do it where you're like i would be like nope <laughs> it's not going on this let's put this way i would say most of the people on sportsman club road are the pelotonia type yeah. folks. So, so we we have this little sign here now but we could I have to know. Okay. we could expand we could use that as the wayfinding template yeah. you know and then just use that order 
few dozen of those or whatever it is. Yeah. We don't want to maybe increase the size a little bit. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> that's a I don't see. Uh, no, that's con I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just going to say, I don't see very many bikers on 62 <laughs> at all, mm -hmm. but you do see them on a Main Street coming to 37. Yeah. It's more biker friendly. That's all yeah. there is to it. You don't have the yeah. semi traffic, number one. Right. And uh, so, what, and it, it ties in good with the trail. And it ties in good with Edwards Road. They like Edwards Road because it goes over through Center uh, Village and into Westerville and Hoover Dam. That's all. That's a good. I've read that. They like it even more when it all gets paid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, they'll like it a lot better. Yeah. And a lot of them coming in that way. Yeah. New Albany, Westerville right. area come in Oregon Street. That's, that's true. A ton of them come yep. in on Oregon Street. Mm -hmm. A bunch together. Right. And that sign. If you saw it in person, it looks huge. It's like yeah. sitting on the table. You're, yeah, um, exactly right. <laughs> I thought it was real big, and you go into the yeah, and you're like, what the heck is that? Yeah, we got those, yeah. When we did those signs on on uh, the designation of Congressman Ashbrook, those, it took three times. Because yeah. the first time we ordered it, we're like, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we should have went to the huge, the large size. And we're like, oh, that's way too big. Well, that's what we ended up doing. Yeah. Because it's so deceiving. Yeah, it, it really is. is. Mm -hmm. It really yeah. is. I think one of the challenges of businesses in town, having a bike rack in front, it would restrict the sidewalk quite a bit. So because the well, that's why we're going to put them in the back. That's, no, but that's why yeah. we're going to do these bike tracks. in we're putting them right. In Big Little Park. 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 And, yeah, right. And other that's places. Right. That corner. We're putting them right here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's really a, yeah, you're right. a no man's land type in, in of situation. Of the it's a good place to make make put it because it's not really used friendly. for anything. Yeah. So you can't do that. Um, it's a shame that the track walks aren't wide. Oh, no, I think that's my cup. Yeah. You, yeah, you don't want to be like every business has to have. Yeah. Right. It'll be like that's too a, much. A <laughs> and so, okay. so the plan right. is we're actually going to put uh, concrete pads down mm -hmm. and um, put the bike racks on top of that. So, mm -hmm. and we got your money spent. You got to follow the curve Perfect. there. So that's what I wanted. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's one thing we're good at. We're good. <laughs> oh, here's another bike sign like too. Who that oh crap. <sighs> Whole picture. Sorry, I don't know why I jumped, but we got another bike. Sign yeah, Crow Works has a bike rack yeah. behind the building there. But the sign for the gun. So we can we can work on that wayfinding. And it's a sign that brands us also. That's kind of our oh yeah too. yeah. So that was I think that's good. The oh, idea. Nice. So, um, anything else, Carrie, or anybody have questions for Carrie? What's the timeline on the install? Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to ask Jack when the concrete's going in. He has the bike racks right now at the service oh, department, okay. and we're just waiting on the fix it station, which I got. Uh, I think it should be here next week. So, remember, he said, Holbrook. Yeah, he couldn't get Holbrook, no, so he had I've got someone no, else. Cool. Cool. Do so yeah, yeah. Do you guys have a Facebook page that quick. you promote anything that you're doing in the like this, these types of projects? Mm -hmm. I assume. Absolutely. Yeah, we, just, we have our village Facebook page. Okay. Great, awesome. And they have an Instagram page. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, we're gonna. If there's no more. Content. No, I'll just email you some links and then yeah, that would be and information that you can just share with the group. That okay. way, everyone can do their own reading and then let me know if you have questions. And also, we talked about a little bit, a little bit, but in the long term, we might want to start looking at some of the crosswalks identified in the active transportation plan. Um, some of them have been identified to be put in, and some of them have been identified to have improvements made. So that might be a good thing to look at maybe into next year and the year after. Yes. And can you give that sticker to Carrie so she can put it on her car? She's <laughs> <laughs> not a sticker. <laughs> Lady here. Oh, yeah. You're at the head of the table. Yeah. <laughs> and this is our active transportation plan that Kerry um, talked about. And I've made this committee the one that keeps track that we're actually doing things. That's awesome. So, um, so we're going to move on to number four. 
Trailhead Park updates. And I think we'll go to C first, since you just came in the room, and you can also talk about the concrete plant pads for the bike thing. As you've heard from your second person that oh, went to yeah, about a bid. Yeah. And the parking lot and so forth. And oh. and the little um thing for the shelter house. Yes, the little walk for the shelter house. Uh, yeah, so let's let's start with the, the parking lot paving. Um, as you all know, or as most of you know, we have uh, South Oregon. We're doing a repaving job on South Oregon Street, and that contractor has agreed to come over and do the paving at the same time that he paves South Oregon. So we look for that paving to be done in the early part of September. But I'm afraid due to the speed I'm seeing, it may be towards the end of September, but mm -hmm. that's when that paving will be done. They'll, they'll pave South Oregon, uh, the water plant parking lot, and this trailhead parking lot all at the same time. And just as a side note, they did have the low bid on the North Oregon Upham uh, Benedict mm -hmm. paving as well. Oh, so they're going right. to alter. They did not bid on Edwards. They, said that was a little convoluted and they, they were going to stay away from that. Um, so in any event, that paving will happen. Um, our ADA walk from the trail bike path to the shelter house has supposed to have been done and done quite a while ago. I got back hold of that contractor. He has had some trouble with labor and family situations and he said, if we could wait on him, he'd do it. I told him, no, we had to get it done. So we went to our second bidder, which was Rogers Concrete, and they are supposed to be in the end of this month, middle to end, and we're getting pretty close to middle right now. <laughs> so middle to end of this month to put that sidewalk in and get our bike parking up on the square taken care of. The bike racks, yeah. The bike racks in and the concrete parking areas. So that should all be done by the end of this month. That's Good. encouraging. Um, so I have to stop a minute. And I know some of you heard Marvin say this the other night in council, but he wanted me to also say it in this meeting. So he was down at the by the trailhead over the weekend, and he counted the cars, and there were 29 cars down there. So this parking lot that we are getting ready to pave extra to the 20 spaces we already have, is very needed. And uh, so he asked if I said it. <laughs> yeah. my he said he was going to be there. Yeah, he sent an email to everybody. Said, I'll be, be there. there. Yeah. So maybe not. Um, so, how about, um, so we kind of addressed the, the, the B. Um, who is, I see there's landscaping too. Is that on us too? With um, I don't, uh, honestly, I don't know anything about landscaping. I think it was more grass, grass. leveling the, okay. and grass planting. That's yeah, okay. The grass is is coming up in there along with the assortment of weeds. But each year we'll we'll do a little weed feed work in there. But we do have grass. Is it sixty percent covered? <laughs> yeah, sixty percent. It's, it's probably ninety percent covered with something. <laughs> something. Uh, you also talked about putting dirt to meet up so that you're not yeah. dropping down. Yeah. From the shelter house, like a pad. firm sort of. Yeah, yeah. When when you know when we go in to do that work, we'll we'll take a look at that. Yeah. Okay. And now, Bailey, the dog park. The dog park has been delayed due to rain. Mm. So I think uh, Tony said that Mike and the guys could probably get out there beginning to mid next week. It looks like the weather should be okay, and then as soon as they're done, he can start. So. I think maybe if the if our service department gets the trench dug next week, we could probably have Tony start on the 30th. And then you want to talk about your dog park signs, rules? Um, yeah. Council adopted dog park rules, and I have the signs. Oh, That's right. what I was thinking, that you had them, so we might yes, as well just, just take a look at them. Um, Oh, there. Big again. Easy to read. Easy to read. Right. So now we can say that they didn't see them. 
Okay. And these Plastic are the same ones that we used yeah. okay, down so at. Uh, well. Yeah. And I had them put the extra coating on there too. Stone. And then we have large dogs. Great. Great. So, they really know. And I know they're, they're a little busy, but I figured we just like back them up. Yeah, we went down to the are they I just want to make sure they're the uh, signs. Yeah. I don't know. What, what was the question? Don't get beat up. If they yeah. were metal. They're not metal, they're plastic, but I had them put the extra weather coating on for outside use. Okay. Well, if things start looking bad, we'll yeah, they're easy to replace. Yeah, it's a start. I um, went to the New Albany one and I noticed that theirs is plastic, so I I don't know how it's long good enough for them. Now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Oh well, Bailey, hurry back because you're you're on the next item. Yeah, so Carol, our tree commission update. I have one for Jack. Okay. I was in a Mastodon uh, trail the other day, Jack. Mm -hmm. No, I'll tell you what. It's been over a week ago, so maybe it was almost grown completely across. It just uh, it's just a brush that borders the trail needs to be Wait, whacked what? back. Oh, yeah, the Mastodon. Yeah, the Mastodon. The weather has right. done one. It did the same thing at Morris Woods. Did it? Yeah, I can On believe the it. Walks, the stuff was just going around. Yeah, it was, it was. You had to go sideways to go in between it. And it's get, all part of the adventure. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. definitely an adventure. Oh, the green yeah. ooze. Yeah, the green oh, ooze is really fell. green oh, and okay. ooze. Yeah. And, and I think another tree fell down, which even makes it, makes better. it look better. <laughs> yeah. And Carrie, if you want some, story, some exciting, yeah. take a little trip back to our Mastodon Trail. So it's a different world. <laughs> Is it? It's where we where your where the spray. Mastodon was yeah. found. <laughs> where your mosquito spray. Yeah. I don't think <laughs> I've been at that trailhead since we like done change gears, which was a couple years ago. So I you need to go because yeah. it's it's quite different. It's changed a lot. I don't know if all those derelict buildings were still there when you were there last. Those have all been taken away, and we have a shelter house. And restroom, uh, restroom, okay. like a fixer yeah. thing. Picnic kiosk, tables, information kiosk, and yeah. So we just keep there. There's a picture of, of um. That's how it. And and all that stuff that look. where that building was, that's, that's all gone. been removed. So it's dirt there, but the, the woods is gone. Oh yeah. All that's gone. All that's gone. Oh really? Okay. It's gone. That's where the dog park is going, Carol. Yeah. I sat on that bench. It is like a rocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need to. The key that right by the kiosk and the bench that was put in by the voice or the Eagle Scout. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Oh, here's the key. I'll give this to Jack. And that trails the. That's the key Mastodon. for the bench Mastodon. that's Mastodon. on the Mastodon right. trail yeah. built by the Eagle Scout. And they, I had them secure it to the ground and they put a master lock on it. Okay. They drove a pin in the ground and locked it. But I, I see that bench coming up to the dog park. And I told him when he built it, <clears throat> that it might end up outside the dog park area. So it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do with it. Okay. All righty. I would suggest that you maybe put that with Teresa's keys. Yeah, or at least if there's the a couple of keys. Put, I'm fine with that. Put it up in the lock. <laughs> I, Teresa has it. Yes, I think I'll that's the, the command center for keys. It is. It should be. It's it's fine. It. I'll put a tag yeah. on it. Um, okay, Bailey. Tree Commission update. The Tree Commission recently sent tree preservation standards to council. So that had its first reading on Tuesday, and its second reading will be in two weeks. We are working with the elementary school to do an Arbor Day planting, and um, I think it's going to be a, it's called a swamp white oak, and it's going to be planted right in front of the parking lot. So I think that's either going to take place the 23rd or the 30th of September. We're just going to work on picking a date, and then um, we'll probably ask the mayor to join us and have some of the elementary school kids join us and learn about planting trees. I'm really glad you're involving the school for this and no, we're, we're, whenever we're, we can. Where is it, where is it going? It's, it's going at the elementary school I there. No I don't know if is. you're familiar with that parking lot there, but there's sort of a 90 degree angle as you're turning out of the parking lot. We're going to plant it right there in the okay. 90 degree angle. Is it a wet area? I'm not sure. The school actually has worked with a certified landscaper and they have a whole landscape plan and identified trees. So um, we pretty much. Oh, there it is. is it the drainage pond right there? The pond? No. Is that it's, 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 it's,
No. Where were we at? Sear Foss, you said? No. No, no it's, it's, it's Johnstown Elementary. Elementary. When you come in oh, off of Leafy Dell, when Leafy Dell okay. goes straight in to the entrance, uh, I think it'd be to the left, wouldn't it, Bailey? <laughs> so it's right, right here. That. Yeah, because isn't that the one? Oh, it's said right. That's okay. A There's pond? a pond right here. Yeah. That's their retention pond, so. Yeah. Right there. Right there. That's, That's what I was thinking. This is a pond. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so it'll it'll, it'll, it'll do well. It'll get its feet wet. I was yeah. going to say, the, the name indicates it needs to be wet. Yeah. yeah no That's why <laughs> like I was dry, asking the question where they were going to Well, I was very impressed when we asked them if we could set up uh, an Arbor Day planting. They, you know, they have a map of the, of the location and trees identified for every area. Like, with exactly what kind of trees they want. So. Good. Yeah, so we didn't have to like recommend a tree or nice. yeah. Ahead of so and we have then, a date yet? Um, either the 23rd or the 30th, I have a tree commission meeting on Tuesday where we'll decide for sure. Of I'm thinking September. the 23rd of September, yes. I'm following all the logic and stuff here, but is that one of the approved trees? I don't, I don't think it is. I think I'm not sure. No. Well, like I said, I'm not trying to cause a problem, but I. I don't think it's one of our approved trees. I think it's on the county's. It's on the yeah. county's yeah. list. Yeah. The state has that list yeah. of approved yeah. trees. Yeah, we have a list of approved trees that can be planted in because we made the one fellow take his weeping willow out. Oh, yeah. We, I still hear about we that. We don't have approved <laughs> trees. We just have undesirable Perfect. trees. Which is a weeping willow is undesirable. Okay. I knew I knew we had some listing of, of something. It's from the state of Ohio. Yeah. Silver maple, box elder. That we adopted are unapproved or yeah. undesirable. Are I, have undesirable. From, uh, I have a list from Lake King County, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we yeah. 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 I think it's from those. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not the street tree. They adopted. I think you all, are, or the commissioners adopted. Lake King County adopted. Planning Commission. So, Bailey, um, next year, supposedly, Searfoss is supposed to be open. Um, <laughs> business again and i don't know if you are aware there's a huge arboretum down there that, that. Uh, yes and it's they've got all kinds of a variety of trees in fact i sometimes think we should put that on our park list that we have this very nice arboretum um, it faces um douglas street and it's yes. pretty lengthy it's real low there, but the trees do really well. The trees do well. Yeah, yeah there it is. Mm -hmm. And they have they have signage about the different um, things. I okay. think it's a couple years ago they really went through it. They did cleaned it up, it up, trimmed it up. The school a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Mulch every day. I think it's called Searfoss Arboretum, but I could be wrong about that. Oh God, they'll probably take that name off too. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Searfoss is coming off. Uh, yep. I understand they're getting rid of all the names on every school. My yeah. understanding is it's supposed to be the Johnstown Intermediate School. Period. Yeah, they may have people with pitchforks out there, but I guess they'll be ready that's, for that. That's what I've been they're just tuning up with their lawsuit. That's what the blueprints say on it. Well, dear Miss Searfoss is in her hundreds now, so that, that would be. She's, um, she's still alive. That would be. That would be sad for a lot of people. <laughs> that yeah, really, especially her. <laughs> especially right. her, but Happy hundreds. She, right. she would never say anything, but all of us who had her over the years would probably say, mm. you're going to change the name? Right. Yeah. Anyway, that's news to me. I didn't know that. Um, yeah. But I just want to make you aware of that arboretum. Um, and what's, if you can spell that? arboretum or power to they, change, they took the names off all the schools. Why? Who reason. knows? I don't. Go ask. Go to the school board and ask them. Ask them why they sue us. I don't know. Um, <laughs> do we get hot under the collar question. about things like this? <laughs> we don't. Oh. Okay, so we're going to move on to um, Craig and downtown Johnstown. What do you want to tell us? Mm, not much other than Summerfest is on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Kind of trying to work through it. Mm -hmm. I actually made the application this time with the, the times for closing the parking lot for Chip's desire. So that's done. Um, which was basically taking into account businesses in the downtown area that explained that their need for Saturday morning parking. And I do know that the chief uh, has discussed with Mike when and where and what time barricades 
need to be set out. So okay. hopefully it'll be just a little smooth. Not that it was a problem. It was, pretty, last time. It was very smooth. Uh, I, I, I thought it was a great event. Yeah. I went up to it. I thought it was a great event. I thought it was a nice town event. But we're a little bit ahead of the game this time. So hopefully that like, those road closures and stuff will be even smoother. Than it was. Stuff. We got there when we were supposed to get there and everything was in place. So it was good. Fantastic. Oh. So, Caroline made this with the uh, car what is it car oh yeah canva canva you did that i did because i really like the font at the very bottom mm -hmm. you're gonna have to tell me what that is sometime <laughs> maybe okay keep a secret no i wondered who did that it's great we have a we have an account with a, a company that you can design things like this so that they look somewhat professional this is very professional, by the way. Yeah. Okay. And I'm also using Canva to try to come up with a little um, second career. A little yeah. promotion <laughs> of the trailhead. But I'm still re redoing it a couple of times now. So eventually we're gonna have something. I'll have something. Um, so so yeah, regarding that, I mean we <laughs> we did get some sponsorships this year. So it's allowed us to make a little bit of money per event, which is good. So right now we do have a little bit of money that we could spend and partner if there's any projects that, you know, would be good for the village that they, you know, somebody says, hey, we Troy, Troy us all the time for money from us. So if you guys. Really? Wow. <laughs> As he hit you for his lighting progress. Twice. <laughs> Actually, I, when, I, when we were at the, the Hartford Fair, I, I stopped into his little booth and he hit me up again on it. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. So, yeah, just, just something to keep in mind. I mean, be it benches somewhere, be it just however it would help for us. Maybe benches in the dark mark. <laughs> well, seriously, that, if that's the case, just let us know because, okay. we, you know, we've had the last two years have been really challenging for us to find projects that make sense for anybody. And, you know, the village has taken on the, the trailhead. And there's certainly things that, you know, we've put a lot of money in, in that over the years, and we'd like to certainly do more. I have a suggestion. I think we need some more banners, some new, new looks. And, oh, downtown. Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I really like the spring one. Some of them I don't like so well. They're I don't all, like the winter one so well. Faded. Yeah. They need to be replaced. We need a new set of flags. And we don't have any summer ones because right because of between the fireman's festival and then we yeah. go into the Fourth of July like, one, yeah. which is still alive. Well, I know because we don't have a summer <laughs> one. Yeah. Right. So, Mike so, called me. He was like, "We don't have a summer one." I'm like, "We don't." No. <laughs> I'm like, "Well, just leave the flags up, I guess." Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to. Yeah. Oh, didn't you? Flag. Weren't you really? talking to the flag lady like yesterday? About new flags, I can. I need okay. to do that. With that, I got. I'll wait till Carol probably wants to hear this. Thanks, Carrie. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's fine. Flags, the whole flag thing, the city flag thing. So. We like to rip off and duplicate. So I took the uh, Dodge City, Iowa. Dodge, Dodge City program is what we copied. So I got an for email the for the contest. Yeah. A couple of days ago, an email from a guy in New Jersey who helped them. Uh, he's like, hey, I, I did the Dodge City one. If you need help, let us know. And then he's obviously he's a flag seller. You know, he, he's, he does that. But I was like, well, that's ironic because that's the exact program we, we duplicated here. So he said if we need that high durable flag if there's a specific name to it obviously there's i'm assuming there's a specific cost to it as well but he also said he would help um pro bono finalize the details if we were to give him wow. the uh submissions he could take from those submissions and come up with something Okay, so would you just give them all to him, or are you thinking we yeah. need to be a little more defining? Like three or four or five. That's that's up to you know, guys. Because you know, I said I don't want a mask. I don't want to mask it, mask it on, on our yeah. flag, on our city flag. So I guess council just has to figure out how we want to handle like that. The well, they originally said, yeah, put it on us. Yeah. This this committee. So oh, was it ours? Okay. Yes. Yeah, um. Uh, so I just thought at some point, and now Cheryl Robertson. I know she threw one. She. In. She's also gotten into the game. So I do think, and if you need some help, yeah, I will I help put all of those like on a yeah. sheet that we could check 
our yeah. favorites. Oh, yeah. Like, like top thing. or take what you like from. Yeah, so I'm you gonna make yes. like that. We could do that. Maybe we ship it to this guy. The rising yeah, sun. I like that. Let idea. Come up with it. Or I know we talked about Nate or something like that too, Nate Harmon. But that's just a tidbit that came through a couple of days ago. Well, that's good to know. Teresa isn't asking too much to say, let's try and do something in our next meeting. But yeah, I was going to put that on the next agenda. I'll have to get something together. Just, yeah, I, we got to start it because I will. As far as when I was talking about flags, I was talking about the American flags downtown. Absolutely. Are all faded, need mm. to be replaced. And that would, yeah. we bought that, we bought this from the flag lady. Yes. Yes. So but my point she is. didn't have the ones that. Do we need to look we, at this? We took a substitute. You know, if, there's a, we, if there's a better Teresa, flag up there. What? Seems to me we took a substitute. We didn't get the one because she was out of the ones that yeah. we really wanted. Yeah. And this was a substitute flag. It has not lasted as long as the yeah, old they ones were the did. Nylon. We, I really think we need to go back to the heavy duty cloth ones. Cloth, the that, cotton ones. Yeah, really they're cotton. cotton. Yeah. They're, they're expensive, treated. but they they're last. They last. Cheap flag and you can and uh, what is this yeah. a second place to price that heavy yeah, they, flag? They shred, shred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to go count and find out exactly but how many there are. Is the best, uh, 200, <laughs> you need to look for, this guy said 200 count. denier polyester. Polyester? Mm. That's some like nylon -y kind, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But he said well, typically most people with flags overseas buy 100. Denier polyester. Denier? D E N I E R. Polyester. Hmm. I'll look and see what they say. Oh, 200 denier polyester. Yeah. It's probably the case. It's like cotton. Count? You would, I would count, count the. It's like yeah. when you buy it's sheets. Like a thread thread sheet. Yeah. Thread yeah. Thread count. Count. The thread count. Yeah. Okay. I'll look. Um, yeah, they look really so we, <clears throat> we definitely, <throat> Teresa, want to put that on the agenda for next month. Yeah. I have a flag started. discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and Richard, Vic. I'm going to get a report today. So. I figured, I'm saying Richard, but you are Richard, but you yeah. go by Dick. Okay. Yeah, they're Richard. <laughs> yeah, they're Richard. Well, um, I wanted to report on the Concord Road parking lot. Uh, the survey's completed, that, and we needed that done to be able to get the transfer to us or actually to the foundation. So, but uh, the survey's completed and uh, Richard and I checked that out the other day. Uh, part of it's in a corn in a cornfield. So we're, we're talking to the farmer to see, you know, before we, and we also have a quote from Jaw Excavating, uh, estimated cost uh, at this point is 22,865. Um, and right now we're waiting on permits and because uh, with county planning he needed a permit from me and i uh, i sent it to him oh, okay. uh, we, instead of having him go through our portal and all that i sent him a form to fill out okay and i told him that we were not going to charge for it it's a curb cut that's yeah, all right. it is okay and then uh, obviously uh, waiting on the closing on the property before we can do anything but even <laughs> even as a part of jaws <laughs> Uh, 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 Jaws uh, saying that four to five weeks out yeah. from, you know, as soon as we sign a contract with them to do the work that they're, they're already committed. You know about that, Jack. <laughs> yeah. The property has to do is, is also then consider returning this to grass. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. I was just going to say that. Right. So I don't, don't think that's, to, that's not in your cost, right? Mm -hmm. That's not in your cost. No, that's not. So we're gonna have to. Yeah, I think I thought we were gonna do that. Take a look at that. The, uh, the but the, anyway, the the actual construction, the, the all the earthwork and the gravel and that stuff, is all part of that twenty two thousand. Yeah. But as I say, um, that we obviously don't want anybody to park right in those there. spots. So. Uh, Maybe put a no parking yeah, sign there. Yeah, we'll have to have signage. signs up to yeah. stop people from doing that. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get in there. So I don't know who's going to do this, but I'm just going to keep saying Security. that the um, Monroe Township trustees <clears throat> need to put something at the top of the hill warning that there is, you know, slow down or whatever. Park entrance. Or Par uh, yeah, trail entrance. Parking lot entrance. <coughs> something. Slow. Because um, that's been the concern all along. That area, especially 
Ben would want that. Because Ben's the one who started addressing this danger area. Well, they've got all this money. They should use some of their art money to to uh, do tourism. Yeah. yeah, it's tourism. The and, property uh, ownership has changed. It's now called Concord Farms. Hi there. Hey, how are you, Keith? Keith. Hey, Keith. Hey. Keith. Hey. Keith is one Hi. of our Johnstown Joint Rec District members. Yep. And I said if somebody can come at some point in time to just, they don't have anything to tell us yet, but maybe someday <laughs> they will. Yeah, yeah. we <laughs> certainly have questions. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to talk about is the levy. We have a great levy committee and Craig represents the Johnstown area. And um, he uh, was the instigator of setting up things for the uh, county fair and uh, at Con you know up at uh, Hartford. Hartford, and um, and we had a booth there and handed out. And so I brought handouts today, which uh, shows the bike way, you know, typical bike way. But here tells what all of the parks does and that sort of thing. So I'll pass it around to each one of sure. you and take one. And uh, we handed those out. I, I worked on last Friday at the fair. You got two days worth of it. Sunday and Saturday. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we handed those out with our uh, bikeway maps and that sort of thing. So we had, had pretty positive um, uh, reception with the people uh, that went through. So anyway, I just wanted to report on those two things. No, I suggest you put some of these at the local library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That um, was a question, Jim. Are we allowed to put them outside here? Can we do it here or not? not that's because right. of the yeah. Are we allowed to ask people to I would I would say no because you're you're asking them to put them. Yeah, right. You're saying no. it didn't say we had that discussion and we thought libraries would be fine, but yeah. the village offices are better yeah. because friend is down in Potascal and I said, let me find out first. I don't think that that is going to be the case. If it was just like for more information, go to right. a website, you could, but when you're it says, but yes. agreed, yeah. sure. I, I, we understand. Can you put them at, no, the village and we're, they, could you put them in the kiosk at the trailhead? It's not village property. Well, that's true. Yeah, it's, that you could put yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, be there because they're okay. not, it's in not the, uh, the technicalities. <laughs> It's, okay. We'll do that. It's, it's, it's leased property. Yeah, show. we won't put it on our side. TJ Evans found it. There you go. Okay. That'd be a good spot for those people. Not all of them, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to move to other business, and you just came at the right time. Good. Jim, do you want to tell a little bit about our last week's Thursday meeting with the new members of the joint, our Johnstown Joint Recreation District? Yeah. It, uh, the, the four members plus the school district and the village met for about an hour and a half, I think. Um, Keith, obviously, being one of those members, and I owe you a phone call back on some questions, Keith. But um, they are going to select between now and your next meeting, which Thursday, is we're gonna select. Yeah, Thursday, select the fifth member because the bylaws require that. Now, wait a minute. That meeting. The next meeting is Wednesday, the 25th. Oh, the Wednesday? Oh, At 6 o'clock. Oh, my calendar. Does it say Wednesday, the 25th? Isn't that what we, I, that's what there, was decided. I'll, I'll look at my calendar and confirm it. Wednesday? You guys time. decided Wednesday was going to be the best time. Wednesday at 6.30. 6.30? 6.30. 630. Okay. At uh, uh, the 25th. Yep. Over here in the council chambers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 6.30, 6.30, 7.30 the, is the plan. So uh, that's when they officially become complete and established. Um, the village, I think, is considering $10,000 donation to the district for overhead of, you know, hiring a, you know, uh, attorney maybe to help with the 501c3, the all that preliminary stuff. So the village will be providing some in-kind support to get them up and running, you know, with minutes and publishing agendas and all that fun stuff as well. So, oh, I don't know. What else am I missing? Well, um, we kinda... they, have to, they have to choose their fifth member mm -hmm. at that time. And that's when they'll be official. Once you have that fifth person on board. Um, <clears throat> and they are truly starting from nothing. 
So I said, well, it's just like downtown Johnstown. It don't is. feel like you're going to, you know, have something in six months. It might be longer oh, yeah. than that. But we do encourage you to, you know, you can have somebody come to these meetings so you know what's going on and vice versa when you do get up and going. Mm -hmm. um, that's been a <clears throat> five-year project to yeah, get to, to get this point. point. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did want to say, Jim, I keep hearing that Susan Serino, who is one of your members, is has legal background or might yeah. be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. She is. So she could, that's good that we've, that you've got that person. Yeah, she's kind of volunteered that services or at least uh, her knowledge of where to go to and those kind of things. And Excellent. tell her to get started on the 5013C right now. Yeah. Well, it was, takes forever. That was my question with Jim is what we had to do as far as 5013C insurance. I've talked to Allison a little bit about getting, I guess, because she does downtown Johnstown. Mm -hmm. So I had a short conversation with her this morning regarding um, what, who we are, what we are. Do we need a PO box to stuff, come to the village? Um, these type of story. You got to have an address. That that's you have an sure. address. And so we'll get a PO box. You got to start the product. I, I can. Uh, yeah, I just got to give you a call back, but you got to start. At the, you got to start at the state to get your EIN number, and, yeah. and yeah, then, you, then you go up to the feds, and then go up to there. All that, just like starting a business. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just instead of for profit, you're nonprofit. Same thing. Okay. Yeah, that's easy enough. The only other question and I have. I'll tell you, I, we I started a nonprofit. Yeah. And uh, it took us a year from the time we actually started till we actually got. Federal approval. That's about what we did with downtown Charlestown and, and, County. And luckily, the person that put our 501c3 application together, mm -hmm. we didn't get any questions. A lot of times they have questions and that sort of thing, yeah. and that would extend it even further. So it's it's important to do the, your homework and do it well so Start that you right. don't have, yeah, right. You don't have them coming back and and delaying and back and delaying, you know, so it, it it pays big dividends to do it do it right off the bat if you can. The only other question I have is more for you, Teresa. That's why I called in and then she said you guys were meeting on oh. I forgot. So but anyhow, is the portal still open for applications? I've got a person that I called because we had talked about that meeting. If there was somebody that hadn't applied, of course a lot of people didn't even know about it. Um for the for joint the recreation. Joint, yeah, because there was an application that you had that we sent out a form. So a form, yeah. a form. And I just need her to fill that out so that the committee or the board can see it. You know what I mean? I can yeah. open it. It's not. To answer your question. I was going to say, I uh, yeah. know it was on the yeah. website. It's Shauna Hendren is who I asked, and she knows everybody on the So board. you want me to send the... We gotta, we gotta open the google form back up open it up and okay. then i'll tell her to go into that portal open it up and then on the website up. yeah and then the board the, the the board members can all see it but okay. i guess she knows everybody on the board so oh. the current members so she would be outside she would be in the school district not correct. in the village right. correct yeah yeah, she'd be a good person to have. Yeah, I was looking for another female yeah. first and foremost because we have one female. I loved when you said that. And, uh, and so did Susan Serena. And, uh, and then I was looking for somebody younger because, see, we have, I think, all the guys as a whole are probably 50 ish. You know what I mean? 40, 50 ish. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so, but still, you know, I, Susan's probably the youngest one in the group. Maybe, I don't know, but I was looking for somebody that hit that younger dynamic. And she said that she had just talked to Rachel Burr about the swimming pool and because she was going to talk to you about that. So we need somebody in that, that grouping too to complete us. I think we've got a good group. I really like the four people. But we need to including that fourth, it would be you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do like the group. I think yeah. it's a good mix of people. Um, but I think she would definitely be a, a great fit person um, for this group to really kind of complete the circle. So we're kind of touching in all aspects. And obviously her family's well connected in the area and this, that, and everything else. So okay, so if there's nothing else about the uh, rec district, um, I'm just going to mention. Marvin asked me again about the um, the mural painter, and I guess, okay, so if you could send her information, because we want to see Brent Fetters, who owns the silos down at the trailhead, he's thinking about it to let 
people paint his silos, but he wants to know more about what this person would do, right. what she would put on it. So I sent that thing to you and Marvin so that you could get back with us and we'll just possibly get in contact with her. You haven't heard any more, have you, from her? What I think Sean said he wanted that vinyl wrap or like Eagle's Pizza in New Albany. He didn't want the paint, and I don't think she's interested in that. Yeah. So, yeah, I can get that to you. Okay. Um, and then who else has some items they want to go I just over? have the one, uh, the boulder. Uh, we found the boulder, oh, yeah. and, and they, uh, Tech owns it. And uh, Jack, did you get a look at it yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. No. And so whenever it's ready to move, we have to decide where you want it. Where's the boulder at? Where is it? It's now? actually at Benedict and Buena Vista on the uh, tech lot there. Yeah, you might, you could put, it'll show up on the uh, oh, there, There's a boulder there at uh, the old car wash on tech's property that needs to go as part of the project. Moved, yeah. Yeah. I don't know That's that right. Road. Where you don't it, do we want a boulder to put at the at the trailhead? To put yeah, the, she wanted to put the plaque plaque on. The, yeah, there we have the, like ten or twelve um, organizations that have helped with the trailhead, and we want to recognize them. Like we did it, rolling that. Yes, but I think we, there's a lot more involved with this because okay. we go way back. We got downtown Johnstown, the found Babcock Foundation, and yeah, just a whole cool. array of different groups that have helped in the past. Well, I went to Linda Chambers and then she went to Dan Lane and he said that we could have it. So, and it's a, it's a nice upright boulder. It's not low. It, it actually stands uh, more, uh, it's it's fairly tall too. So I think it would be ideal. It has a, a nice flat side. Just depends on how you set it. And then it's my understanding we get Adam East up next door here to do the work for us. Mm -hmm. All right. While we're speaking of Adam, yes. uh, he's working on the Bigelow headstone. The current headstone had blew over in the windstorm yeah. and mm -hmm. is laying on its side. Mm -hmm. um, he is in the process of finalizing the, the, he has matched the intricate carvings on the current Bigelow headstone. Yeah, so, can you call that up? And so anyhow, that'll be... Uh, I think it's... I saw him yesterday. It's Historic Johnstown, Ohio that has and it. And he's going to... He's he's. Okay. I told him that oh, he'd been up there and knew it blew over. And yeah, he, Teresa has it. Has, uh, I got it, Teresa. So you have, I, I copied you on the email. Yeah. Okay. So he said it won't take long for him to finish it. Cool. Good. It'll be ready to go. The other thing is that the park... Did we get the sign back up at the park? Honestly, Chip, I don't know. Okay, because it, it, it was down. It was, it was not been back down. Up. Hannah's Park. Hannah's yeah. Park. I think it was still down. And, is it uh, still down? Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. When I talked with Mike, he said they were still waiting on material. But but that's been a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I haven't. Okay, I, haven't well, I was there since. last They're week. They're doing the dedication of the additional bricks in the memorial over there when? is Saturday. This Saturday. Yeah, so that's not going to give you time, but that's all right. Just, if they can get to it. There's so. the entry <laughs> There's, there's um, the, the, the carving really on the. So yeah. that's when it's down, right? Yes. This yeah. is the one Marvin, I think, took. Okay. Why, why are we doing a new one? Why couldn't that have been set back up again? Because, because it's, 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 cracked. it's already cracked. Okay. There's a there's an iron piece no. that's okay. put in that's the middle of side. it. So we're okay, gotcha. we're making it's going to be granite. It's going to be uh, not sandstone. It's going to be um, uh, polished on all sides, yeah. and at the bottom it'll say um, from the grateful citizens of the city of Johnstown, and a date. So okay. when you polish them, they last so much longer. Yeah. So. Yeah. He's the proprietor of Johnstown. He's the proprietor of Johnstown. Mm -hmm. As he also gave us, the, gave us the land where Bigelow Park is. He gave us the land where the cemetery is. He gave the village the, of Johnstown. They laid out, they laid the, out streets. the streets. Yeah, they laid out the grid. Um, in the is, grid. Is there the, anything particular that happened are, with uh, this uh, original? Historically sorry, very I, important because what's like, going to happen with the Isaac original Isaac Bigelow stone. founded uh, Plain City. And the first... First burial was done in a big sure. cemetery 
It's a pioneer cemetery. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, that do you, oh, Lisa, do you know what's going to happen with the old stone? Marvin to, said he wanted to, to take it and have it mounted on the side cemetery. of the Monroe Township building in the square. That makes sense. Yeah. That you can still keep. That's yeah. a good well, they're gonna, idea. Yeah, they're not just you know, to the encased in something. If yeah, be it'll be, it'll be, they can be mounted flat and cleaned up. Yeah. yeah. And of course, the but it has to be um, to get rid of them. They didn't want to. On the side that faces the slant parking. The teacher and me, you know, it's like. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, so, there, it, it's going to be kept. Okay. It's beautiful. Um. Anybody else? Um. If you haven't seen, I haven't been up to see it. Um. The library lighting oh, to yeah. match the corner. Wow. Can you yeah. find that Instagram by chance, Jim? I keep asking you to dig uh, all this stuff up. Is it on Instagram? It is. It was by he, Matt. Yeah, they're um, not quite finished, but they're almost. And the, as soon as that gets done, they'll start on the town hall. That'll be uh, great. He, it, so well, I can't think of the name of their company. Light something. Light, Lightscape. Light. Lightscape. Lightscape. Yes. If you could do a search, I think it. He posted it. He had like four so different pictures. It's, of Matt, it. it's on Matt's um, site, along with his. Don't Why? mask. Matt Nickel. I don't know. That's not him. Why can't I not? I think he goes by the lightscape thing. I don't know if he has yeah, his Lance. own individual Instagram. I don't know. There it is. There it is. There's oh, a lot wow. of people here. Yeah. That and that's too. before he finished the the uh, the bell tower. He was putting additional lights on that. Oh, wow. On that the very top. Awesome. And uh, wow. those clouds, I don't know if you noticed it in the first picture. That's the side of it. Um, he has a professional photographer that comes and does all of his photography no because kidding. he did that for Cornell School. Yeah. And uh, I just think that's really cool in the background with so the clouds. The, oh, yeah. The town hall we've yeah. done in a similar style. So the, the Cornell School town hall. Mm -hmm. Uh, Babcock Library will all be similarly lit. I thought your church and the, yeah, but we had a little shampoo, shampoo and the the dome in the in the sanctuary had to be removed oh, and yeah. sent off to be redone, and getting seventy five thousand dollars for that yeah. sort of put back the lighting prog program. So we're we're sort of on a delay until the dome is returned, which is supposed to be by Christmas. So. So Re reinstall. Matt did that the Cornell School for free, and it really did generate other business for him in the community. Mm -hmm. So um, he did Christmas lights for KSEPs. Yeah, he did yeah. the, 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 the gazebo. The gazebo. He does gazebo, that. Yeah. Um, Speaking of Christmas lights, are our new lights that are in our village are they accessible for putting some type of Christmas lighting? Like in the past, I know when that was supposed to be redone, that the electric was supposed to be there, that you could plug something in and, and run something. Yeah, there's a the top up. fitting type of thing versus there's a, a plug up there. I don't, think, I don't think anything's ever been plugged into them, but yeah. But yeah, there's an outlet at the top. Do they, do they make certain products for those type of lights for like the village could buy or something that's like that you could get yeah. prices on it? I'd like to see John, downtown Johnstown maybe do like that. The way it used to be it was really nice when the lights were out. You know, you even reeds? In, the reeds, it could be anything. It I've, be seen, anything. I've seen, but I'd like to see it. I've seen snowflakes, but yeah. even if it was just in Bigelow Park area or whatever, just that corner, just looks a little, when you yep. go through some of the older villages or cities, well, they just look a lot nicer. Bigelow Park may not have it because those weren't replaced. Those aren't new. Oh, okay. Those aren't new. So we just have to double We'd check. We'd have to get an inventory of what's there and what could be done and get a price for it. And the lights. There's another project for you. <laughs> well, and I think, I think the business owners, yeah, so you look at somebody yeah, like Jane Shaw, she may dedicate one in front of the building for her husband you could do that type of thing where you're looking for businesses and communities to, to yeah, buy each yeah. one and, and I've, been, I've been working with Matt. something that's on light on changing the bulbs or the what we're going to do on the street lights down okay. there so it'll be look better yeah. i just think it'll be flat well, well they'll be all the same color and they're and too bright the and yeah. they're, yeah. they're yeah. not warm light yes yeah. of course so i'm just gonna this is the last thing i this is the last thing I have. Um, 
This is Granville's little brochure. And Marvin and I have been talking about um, trying to pull something like this off of Johnstown. And so what they do is they have um, a map of their community. And then along the side, I think there's 24 of these um, businesses that pay. They, in Granville, I call it the chamber, they pay 250 for their little box. And then they have sponsors on the back that paid 400. So it would be a way that we could actually pay for something like this and make copies. So that was something that is in the works, but it's not yeah, happening like quickly, yeah, like sorry. a lot of things. Yeah, sorry. We'll get there. You mean you're saying mine's not professional? Um, what did you, what are you talking about? <laughs> She's unaware of your application. <laughs> my, my summer fest. No, I love your summer fest. And I have to tell you, do a brochure. I was really, yeah. yes, this is next for you. Um, Another challenge. <laughs> yeah, that was really great. Are you going to do this? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that email. We can use ARP money for that. You have no record of it. <laughs> Okay, so I think we can adjourn. Why do we adjourn? I second, and we're all in favor. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Thanks for coming. Well, thanks, thanks, everybody. For